Hello everyone, this is Heather from my girlfriend's quilt shop in Sandy, Utah. And I would just like to take a minute and show you this great feet kit that Handy Quilter has out. And it is their couching foot kit. Um, what you can use this for is you can use it to put nice fun highlights on your quilt. You can use it for echo quilting and give your, your quilt a little bit of pop or texture. Um, you can use it to outline things, or you can just plain straight quilt with different types of ribbons and yarns. Um, really, the possibilities are kind of endless with this. So I'm going to show you really quick um, just a little demo of how this works, and, and we'll go from there. So I have already taken, and I put the three millimeter foot on my ruler or on my machine. So you can see here that it comes with three different sizes. And what the different sizes are is each of these feet you can see has a plastic piece in the the center of the foot okay and then in the center of that there's a hole and so what you'll do is you'll take your your fiber or your yarn that you're wanting to put onto your project and you're going to try it with those different holes and see which one it works best with and you kind of want it to be a little bit snug but not so tight that it can't move so there are three sizes um, for this i've got the three millimeter or the largest hole on my machine and then i'm going to be using some of this really soft um, chenille yarn or some people will call it a blanket yarn um, and i've seen where people will just do a complete edge to edge design with just couching and it just gives your your quilt a really fun soft kind of vintagey look to it so when you are ready to start doing this what you'll do is you come to your machine and you'll want to put your needle down and needle back up and then we need to bring up our bobbin thread so bring up our bobbin thread okay and then I'll go back to where I was and I'm just gonna do a couple locking stitches. So I'm just gonna needle up, needle down just a couple times. And then I'm gonna take the end of my yarn and I'm gonna go between my needle and this arm that comes down in my foot and I'm gonna put my yarn right through there, okay? And I'm gonna loop it around my thread and then just pull it a little bit to the side okay and then the next step is is I want to take a couple stitches just to kind of lock that in place and then I'll make sure my needles up I want to grab my two threads so my my top thread and my bobbin thread hang on to those and then I'm going to move my machine to the side and you can see that it is now taken that yarn and put it right through that hole in the center of my foot okay so now what you can do is you bring your machine back over and you can do a couple stitches just to make sure it's you know gonna hold your yarn and everything down and then before you get started the biggest thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a pretty good sized puddle of yarn off to the side um, that's a really big key to having success with this foot is you do not want to have any pressure on your yarn when you're going to use it, it just needs to be able to flow freely so then what you can do is we are ready to start stitching I've got my yarn off to the side when you do this you may need to slow down your quilting speed just a little bit um, because you do want to make sure that your stitches um, have time to go on that yarn so now I'm ready to go I'm just going to push start and I am just going to quilt so you can see now that this yarn is stitched down on my quilt um, you don't even really see your thread that you have used. Um, one thing that I did intentionally, and I wanted to show you, 
is back here, and I'm not sure if we can get to see it. I moved the machine too quick, okay? And unfortunately, that just happens. So as a result of that, my yarn didn't get stitched down. So a couple different options. You could go back, restitch that down. Um, you could stitch it down with your domestic machine. Really the most important thing though is just make sure you're not moving too quick, um, giving your machine time enough to get that yarn pulled down and stitch down and I think you'll have fun with it. It's a great way to add a little bit of a fun little kick to your quilt and I'd hope that you give it a try. Thank you so much. Bye.